good afternoon from NASCAR iDrive indoor go-kart racing. What, what more is there to say? This is an indoor go-kart track. Looks like fun. I've never been. I'm excited to try it out. Their website said that they allowed GoPros, so we're going to test that out today. Let's go inside and have a look around. Ooh, as soon as we walk in, there's some conference rooms over here. A little gift shop. They sell GoPros here, so I'm assuming we'll be able to take them on the track. There's one of the go-karts right there. There's also some, like, arcades in here. Whack-a-mole, skee-ball, milk jug toss. All kinds of fun stuff in here. And then they have bowling alleys, but not not full-size bowling alleys. I think this is called like candle pin bowling. Got some air hockey tables. And then we can look in on the course over here. Got some people waiting to race. Let's see how fast these carts go. They say that they're super fast. Looks like they're making their way to the end of the race. I don't know, floor it, kid. Doesn't look too fast, but it does look like fun. Oh, those look like they're going pretty fast back there. Whoa. Yeah. These kids know how to race, so this place just keeps going and going, doesn't it? Lots of stuff back here. Oh, good news. It looks like all of the helmets have GoPro mounts on them, so we are definitely going to be wearing a GoPro. Or at least a lot of them have GoPro mounts. If not, we have the chest harness. Oh, it looks like there's also a bar and restaurant back here. This is just ice cream right here prize redemption for the arcade and then this is called the grandstand it looks like the grandstand bar and grill looks like just basic bar food whoa this looks good it's a hot dog and a hamburger pizza beers all right let's get another look at these guys zooming by oh yeah looks pretty fun getting some real speed going over there not going very fast at all. I just realized over here by the prize redemption, they have a big boy. I wonder if I can win this as a prize if I play enough video games. Seems like they picked up the speed a little bit in this race. So I will tell you this about the NASCAR iDrive go-karting experience. They run in heat, there's only one track. We are like number 40 and they're on 37 right now. And so there's kind of a lot of waiting for us. Really good for them in their arcade, but bad for us if you don't want to play the arcade because you're just standing around waiting for your heat to come up. They called us. We are heat number 40 heading in. Racers only. We have to sit down and watch the safety briefing. I'm here to drive like a pro and I'm here to drive to win.
holy cow, I just looked back at some of the footage from the GoPro and uh, it felt a lot faster than the GoPro made it look. That is for darn sure. But it's funny because you get out of the uh, like of the race and you feel like ah, I'm gonna like like I'm all amped up now and like ready to go. I'm gonna get in the car and speed off somewhere. But eh, you know you can't do that. But it was still like this is a lot of fun indoor go kart racing, especially with the electric carts. If you guys haven't ever driven an electric car or an electric go kart, totally different experience to a gas powered vehicle because. The, it's just like instant acceleration. These were supposedly 45 miles an hour is the top speed of these. That's what they say you can go here. I don't know if we ever hit 45, it didn't feel like we did, but at the Andretti experience, which we'll put a link to that video down below, we were only able to get up to 35. So this one's a little bit faster than that. The Andretti experience had like up and downs. This one's just one track. I don't know. It was a lot of fun though. There is the outcome of our race. I was number one. My best lap was 26 seconds. Pretty darn good. Also, I wanted to show you guys, 55 inches is the shortest you're allowed to race. Wanted to show you guys the pricing for a single adult race, it's $18.99. But what we did was the two race special for $30, but we got a Groupon, so it was $24. So I will tell you guys what, this was a fun time. It did, the like, amount of time that we were racing was way less than the amount of time that we were here. So one of the things that I saw that was on the board was a racing and gaming combo. And so I think that that might be the best bet. Go in there, get your racing and gaming combo, play some games while you're waiting to get out on the racetrack. Then once you're actually out on the racetrack, do your two races, then get back in and play some more games. Maybe get like some pizza or something like that. I think that it would make a good afternoon. So for me, it didn't really feel like it was worth it for the afternoon because we only did the two races and we didn't do any gaming. So it was kind of like go inside, pay for it, and then wait, and then wait. And then you go in and you watch the, the little preview film and the rules and everything. And then you put your helmets on and then you wait. And then you sit in the carts and you wait. And they put you in the carts while the other race ahead of you is finishing so that as soon as that one's done, you can just go right out. But it is a lot of waiting. Once it was actually like time to race and we were actually racing, a lot of fun. Super fast, like high energy, like racing around, zipping through the corners and everything like that and trying to get ahead of everybody, trying to get your best time. The waiting definitely put a damper on it. I don't know, for 24 bucks on a Groupon, going out there, getting two races in, taking up a couple of hours, it was fun. So I do suggest you come out and give NASCAR iDrive indoor go-kart racing experience a try. I had a good time. So with that being said, we are off. We will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>